to the top like a rocket ship. Yeah. You know I walk the wall, not just talking it. Uh. Focused on my mission and I'm locking in. Yeah. It's my shine, nobody blocking it. The crown is for the taking. I said, I know I'm gonna make it. Uh, survivalist, heroic as a tiger is. Earn my stripes, cause you know I'm do or die with this. Journey started young, super hard headed. Call me crazy, but you is not my psychiatrist. Been through a lifetime of strife and struggling. Be the best, that's my covenant. And I'ma live forever, that's my legacy. Greatest of all time, that's what they gon' label me. Put in work, I did my part, they like. Keep on going, cause you got hard. They know that I'm non-stop, I keep on pushing forward. Highly motivated, they try to say I'm overrated. If you from where I'm from, you're not supposed to make it. The opportunities arise, so I gotta take it. Too many people in my corner, so I gotta make it. I'm in it for the love of winning, spot of all the hatred. They gon' say what they gon' say regardless. Not afraid to fail, I try my hardest. Power up, the time is now. I got this arm on fire like the darkness. Uh, I've been a failure, I've been a success. I'm like a diamond, I shine under pressure. But life's been trying me, I learned all my lessons. I realize I gotta kill all my blessings. I'm working hard every day to be a better man. If practice makes perfect, then I'm already a veteran. I suffer from defeat, so success is my medicine. Destined for greatness, so you know that I'm back again. I'm back on my feet after I fell down. Always ready for a fight, never back down. At this point, I'm fighting for pride, I'm fighting for life. Reputation on the line, so I'm fighting for mine. They like me, but you must respect me. I'm saying, I'm saying, if they ever try to check me, ain't gonna let them wreck me. The pain remains. Gotta remind myself where I came from and represent. The struggle made the realest man you ever met. Isn't it evident? I ain't stopped before, not planning on stopping now. I'm tired of playing the sidelines. Gotta make my own highlights. It's time to heat up for the fight of my life. Show them what I got, cause you know that it's my time. Champion, one day I might be proud of what I see from the man in the mid. A real freedom fighter got a problem with the deal. Everybody know that I always keep it real. I fall down, I get up, I keep pushing still. They recognize I'm a champion. I did it all, even what they say can't be done. I wear my stripes proud, I raise my flag high, and I'm gonna stay free till the day I die. Yeah, yeah. Started from the bottom, and I'll never look back. Y'all making a mess. Yeah, yeah. When it's all said and done, they gon' call me a legend. Yeah, yeah. I love to break bread, but I'd rather break records. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready for a fight when it's on its own. Yeah, yeah. I'm charging like a bull when it's on its own. And welcome back to Broad Street Work. My name is Ginger, joined by Riffy, and we got the second pool of the first round here. And 
I mean, this is a good pool going into it. I see a lot of familiar names and then some names I don't really know. Uh, what is your take on this pool? Same here. And, you know, I feel like with this pool, sort of anything can happen. We have a lot of names that we don't know yet, some names that we do know, names that are rising up. It's going to be a really exciting pool to watch, especially with former champion Darkie in this pool as well. Darky is from New York and is well known around the Mario Kart competitive scene. He's been around for a while, but there's some other names in here that you got to watch out for that could turn turn the tide. If uh, you want to, you know, explain that. Yeah, definitely. Um, just looking over, I see um, two former uh, Broad Street Blur players, Anomaly and Ocean Rhapsody, both hailing from Cutstown University. Um, representing their esports org, I believe. Really exciting to see, as well as some brand new faces. Um, don't exactly have their names quite yet, but it'll be 100% exciting to see them play as well. Yeah, absolutely. And that new talent that we're getting, we are in partnership with the fighting game scene today. So there's other fighting game tournaments going on. So some of those players joined us today. We were playing in the first room and we noticed that, you know, that happens a lot. And, uh, you know, they were they're just learning the game. It's kind of different for them. I don't know who else is really a fighting game player per se, but I wouldn't expect I'd expect other people in this lobby to be more tailored towards that. So I'm I'm wondering what do you think is going to happen to them? What kind of experience do you think they're going to get to get better moving forward? I definitely think um, picking up on a lot of the other players, seeing what they're doing to sort of learn the game is going to be key in sort of adapting and figuring out how they're going to play in the future rounds, be that um, the later stages or final round. Um, but yeah, anything can happen here. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, as we're setting up the lobbies, it is taking a little bit of time because there are new players and, you know, they may not understand necessarily how to set up a play. But that's why we're here. That's why we're here to help them. And, and we are almost ready to go. And, you know, I, I wonder, can you give me a prediction on your top four? Who do you think is going to make it out out of these eight if you know who you think is going to advance? That is a very tough one. I mean, so many new faces. I mean... I definitely think Darkie is going to be my first top four pick, followed by Anomaly, a player that I've gone head to head against in a 1v1 great sound player. Um, and I also think Ocean Rhapsody, she has been building up a lot of experience in the Mario Kart scene through NRC, through these Wall Street Blurs. And I think that experience is going to shine through in these, and um, the experience in this group is going to shine through in this pod. And for that last spot, honestly, um, it is a bit of a toss-up. I mean, oh. I definitely think we could see some fighting game players who are familiar with the competitive environment, who are sort of used to the nerves getting to them, but being able to just relax, realize, okay, even if things don't go well for me at first, I can still bounce back. I can still get some good items. I can still work on those. I can still work with those items. Yeah. And it looks like the lobby is going to be up. Yeah, one guy that, you know, you didn't mention, but is important to consider is P-Marks. I believe he is the organizer of this tournament, but he is also playing in the tournament. So I expect him to advance as well. So that top four you mentioned with P-Marks, I wouldn't be surprised though another fighting game player made it closer. I wouldn't be surprised at that all because there's so many, the player pool in this round in this group is so vastly different and i expect many different things to happen and a lot of chaotic friction i mean darky's probably going to be towards we're going to expect that we know that's coming he might get a perfect score for all i care but that second third fourth and even fifth is going to be really interesting to see so what tracks do you think these guys are going to play or if you have an experience with these players, what tracks do you think they are going to pick if you know? The first thing that comes to my mind is, I know Ocean Rhapsody was a very big fan of what we call R-dubs, which is the, um, or not R-dubs, B-dubs. It is the Booster Force Pass Waluigi Stadium. 
very good if you have a mushroom item, very good if you have these power items in play, and I definitely expect to see that when we um, get to the map picking. Yeah, another track I'm thinking that we're going to probably see is possibly a baby park, even if we people don't really like that track. I, we could see it. We could see a Warrior Stadium. I know that Darky probably likes those tracks. And, you know, but honestly, based off what we've seen in the last room, anything could be picked. Like, Sight Bike Arena, I could, we could see that again. We could see different other tracks that, you know, you may not expect, but hey, they're going to get picked because uh, they're they're simple. They're easy to navigate, and that's what really matters. These players in the in the back area are going to have to use those tracks to sort of rely themselves to get back up there. So do you think that's a good strategy for these newer players to pick these easier tracks and why? Um, yeah, I definitely agree. I think um, getting these simpler tracks that have a lot of off-road in them as well, like we saw with the Mario Circuit, which can be a bit um, favorite towards the back. We saw with um, Calamari Desert, which was a random pick, but um, still something that can favor you if you are in the back, given the, just the huge amounts of offer that are on that course. Um, again, randoms could be picked, so we could see a greater diversity there. It's going to be exciting, without a doubt. I, I absolutely agree with that, and I mean, I think... On my left, I've seen players, you know, it's, it's newer, so they're taking a little bit of time, but this is why we're here to help. This is why we're such a great tournament environment, because we can help those players that need it the most get what they need. And that's what, make this, that's what makes this tournament so unique and special. And I, always, I come from New York. It is a long drive, but I know it's worth it because of the player pool and everything else. So looking ahead, we got second chance next after this. What do you think about that? How chaotic do you think it will be? I definitely think that um, as these sort of top spots um, get auto or not eliminated, but as they get advanced to the finals automatically, we're going to see a lot more chaos as sort of these top spots and these top runners like technical, like Eugene Joe, like Darky. Once those goes away, we're definitely going to see a lot of fluctuation, which could be really interesting. Potentially seeing more tight packs, just overall more item usage, more people hitting each other out. It's going to be very interesting to see the last chance qualifier, see how that item usage plays out. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you know, I am so incredibly excited for everything that's going on. I just cannot wait for this to start, but I understand that the players, you know, what what do you think they're feeling as we're rolling into it slowly? What do you think they're thinking in their minds, especially those more experienced players? Well, we are getting ready, so that is no quote. Yeah, um, we show up. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. so feeling a lot of emotions. I feel from everybody here. Right. You got a combination of nerves, excitement, just. A lot going through your mind, thinking about USMK, thinking about, okay, what's my track pick going to end up looking like? Just overall a lot. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you 100%. Nerves is a big factor, and I'm going to talk about this a lot in this round. Nerves could play, especially for the fourth place, you're mm -hmm. in danger of getting eliminated. That's something you got to keep an eye out for, because, you know, you're never safe in Mario Kart. You could have one bad race and everything... Everything, uh, you lose all your traction that you gain. You lose all of it. And you don't want that to necessarily happen. What can these players do to prevent that? I think, really, the big thing is um, making sure that you're not using your items in a careless way or making sure that you're using them when you really, really need that. Because, in my experience, I tend to get a little bit trigger-happy when it comes to using items. Just getting a little bit my nerves getting to me and, you know, I accidentally pop all my mushrooms and then I'm gone poor because um, I don't really have recovery. So making sure that you have the defense, the recovery at you at a constant time, it's really important to making sure that you're able to keep consistent places, especially if you're at the top where um, a lot of the hit out items like the, like the, um, like the shells and the horn and fire flower are. Yeah, I'd say that's going to play a big impact. There's 
in the middle of the path, there's going to be those here, because you said it, the fire flower, you know, those items could play a huge part of it. And I mean, I think we're getting started here. I don't know what we're playing. I believe that might be, that looks like Mushroom Gorge, but I cannot see anything. I'm trying to look on the side. I see, all I see is P. Burks, and he's, I think he's in sixth. So there we go. Okay, there we go. We are on Mushroom Gorge now, okay. as we're going to see Darky running in first on Mushroom Gorge. Yeah, this is not a surprise whatsoever. Double defense hand as well will help him advance. But will we see anyone take that huge gap comp? And we will. And that red Yoshi catching up there. I don't know who's who, but, you know, as we flip over to p he has a star in second. And ooh, ooh, gets stolen. Knows. And I mean... Right now, you just got to get rid of that fire, try to pull another mushroom and try to take this cut. But, I mean, double reds will help, help you. But right now, I'm paying attention to that third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. They are all back there while Darky and P Mercs are running away. Here comes the blue shell. This is going to be huge for P Mercs. And, you know, why is it going to be like that? Here comes the blue shell. Uh, P Mercs, I believe, still has those double reds as well, even though Darky does have. Oh, gets a coin. So no defense for them. Will and it looks like the red will connect as Darky as we go to the um split screen view. P Mercs has a mushroom on the last lap. That is definitely what you want in this situation. So because yeah. you can if you are able to nail it, you can just take that gap cut, shave off so many seconds, and potentially get the first place here. As we see, P-Mark is going for the cut, will make it, and take first in this race. And that's exactly what he wanted right there. P-Mark's stealing the win away from Darky, saving that mushroom. So key, and so it's a great strategy to have, but getting third there, Anomaly and Rift, someone I didn't think, but, you know, Rhapsody getting fifth, they're still in it, but that's a name that we haven't talked about yet. I want to see, what do you think they can do to keep their fourth? Because that was a great race from them. Really, I think it comes down to the item usage. If you're able to just um, be cautious with how you're using your items, not spamming them, making sure that you're taking people out when you need them, that's really the key to making sure that you can stay in that mid-pack and still survive, because the mid-pack in Mario Kart is just notorious for being... well... just... yeah. <laughs> But we go to Boo Lake, and this is a shorter track, so there is less room for mistakes. And that mid pack is going to play such a key role here. But I expect P Mercs and Darky to trade places here. I believe Darky is extremely good on this track, but again, that third, fourth, fifth, sixth is so important. And starting off well is P Mercs, but Darky right on his trail and gets a pass on him as well. I mean, that's big, but Ooh, that red. red shell is Can't going grab. to probably take him out using it at the right time. It stops. Very smart by Darky. Not going to lose him. any more time than he needs to. And staying in the front, but right now P Mercs taking that no item shortcut. We'll get him in the first, and tell me more about no item shortcuts here. Yeah, so no item shortcuts, they're abbreviated as NISCs, are Really commonplace on a lot of tracks. Really important if you're running. As we see, go to a split screen view of Darky and P Mercs. Darky currently in fourth, trailing behind Anomaly. Going to pull triple shrooms. Very good if you want to take the cut here, as the blue shell comes for P Mercs as well. Yeah, Darky holding those shrooms there is going to be big, because he's going to be able to take that cut coming up. And, you know, when you're watching it, Ocean taking it as well, but this trip green score is going to be big. He shrooms up in greens, you can take him out. And one certainly and but he is going to opt to hold it very smart play as well going to wait until the perfect time to throw those greens and p mercs having a man in hand is so big this is that one but again he has two more shots that get him out absolutely we'll get it at the right angle as darky now in position to potentially take another no item shortcut here getting the ultra mini turbo as p mercs pulls a horn in second can't really do a ton here to overtake Darky as it's like Darky will take first on Bree Lake. Darky will take first and P Mercs taking second. I mean, that's what you want. And then Green Yoshi in third. Link getting up there. That could have been anybody. That's Fem getting up there in fourth and Rift getting last. I mean, Anomaly in fourth, but this is close even early. And he got eight races. I mean, I expect those places to be the main story. 
With Darkie and P-Mercs running, I expect those positions to be the story of this round. Absolutely. Um, we just saw them jostling back and forth. P-Mercs finally getting that comeback on the Mushroom Ward race. We saw them just fighting with those item uses with the shells on Rue Lake. It just indicates how much of an exciting set that this is going to be. I mean, absolutely. And all these tracks, they they are could benefit, could see the Warrior Stadium. And we do. Yeah. I talked about this earlier. He loves this track, Darky. And he, we will go here early, which is probably for some separation because you're only up really nine. And that if you have like one bad race, it's going to be it's going to be catastrophic. But I mean, this is exactly what Darky wants. He can run completely for free if he doesn't get first box of Reddit. Absolutely. As the countdown starts, oh, and it looks like Pimerx is going to burn out, so that'll let Darky take first, I believe. Pimerx is going to be stopping at set just to get some power items. We'll pull the triple shrooms, probably just going to go for coins here. Yep. See, I wouldn't expect this because this is more of a running track, but yep. based off that, you know, how much he was able to get in front, I think he can catch up rather easily, but I think he's not surprised that he's doing this, but this is only going to help Darky more because if he does not get hit out, which he's not. Look at his lead over. Yeah, he's, he's a giant gone. And, you know, he doesn't need the pack to pull mushrooms to really lose that because his turns and his his soft drifting and his skills are just so great. And as we go to a two screen, and I mean, Darky right now just out front by a mile, taking these jumps and tricks extremely precisely, which is going to help him down the stretch. And I mean, right now, just getting Keeping his lead is what he needs to do, but as you see, P-Marks with that star, though, he is catching up! Ooh, and pulls another one as well because of that distance factor. But, I mean, right now, I mean, what will we see coming in from P-Marks? How will we play this around? Keep that second. Definitely interesting. Going to see him chain into the set. Let's see what he pulls here. It's going to be another red as well as triple shrooms. The question is, will that be enough to catch up to Darky? He was just putting on a masterclass right now on this Wario Stadium. Just basically time traveling at this point with a few items, but oh, that's it looks a big like pull. that is a big pull. Triple reds. I don't know if it's enough though, because Darky is just so consistently out front. As we go back to a two screen, I mean, Ooh, will we? Will what will he do? He only has one banana, so I mean, what will he do? He will opt to use one and save the other one, which is good. But does have that bomb? Will which will be effective enough? Ooh, oh, unfortunately, misses miss the there, bomb. But we'll space the iframes. out. He spaced that red out. I mean, he would have gotten hit there, but Darky taking that first, and right now, P Merch in second, but I see a pink gold peach. Oh, but Ooh, they I got hit at the end, and Anomaly, I believe, takes third there. What an ending. Absolutely. We are just seeing, again, the shifting between Darky and P Merch, but also third and onwards, we're seeing a lot of different trades between places. And even though that's not on our stream, that is also incredibly exciting to see. Just seeing all of those item plays, that Finkel Peach that they're getting hit out at the end, just shows how back and forth this is between like play three to seven. Yeah, I'm looking on the map, and I mean, I'm always paying attention to those guys in the mid pack because they could shake things up, especially with the shock or a blue shell. That's where that's going to happen, and that could really shake things up. And I mean, Peemer, I, I wasn't. I didn't expect him to really catch up that easily, but P-Merc's strategy of bagging at the start of Warrior Stadium helped him at least get a little bit closer to Darky. But Darky right now only lost that first race. And I mean, he is, we are going to Tokyo Blur and this could be another benefit to Darky. I mean, he is just really solid in terms of his lines on all the tracks. And he's only up two though, which is kind of surprising. But I mean, I'm looking to see what is going to happen in this fourth race as we are approaching the halfway point. Absolutely. As the countdown gets started, we're going to see Darky and Pimerx get the rocket start as Darky, currently in first place, has the opportunity to potentially get a breakaway as long as Pimerx does not get a hit out here. I'm surprised he didn't go for the snipe. Oh, he gets That's sniped themselves. I'm surprised he didn't look behind as we go back to the two screen again. And I mean, Darky having double defense and taking the NIC, it's just so good for him. Even if his lead is smaller than before due to hitting the offer. I mean, right now he's in a great spot. He has double defense to really help him out. I mean, right now, P-Mercs, I mean, interesting item, item pull of 
triple shrooms and a ghost, which will help him at least catch up a little bit. But when he uses his ghost, he could try to take that star. He tried it. But... Ooh, Anomaly pops it right in time. And that's taking triple mushrooms there is at least going to be helpful for his combat. But again, Darky having a big lead, but GP Marsh with this blue shell is going to really shape it up a little bit. I mean, but getting hit out again, again by Ocean. And I mean, we're back to the two, we're back to Darky. And right now, he doesn't, it doesn't really affect him because that red wouldn't have hit anyway. It doesn't really affect him the blue shell wise, but definitely. Actually, Ooh, could not pull out the green in time and another red coming in. Another, another red, red coming. I in. think the pink old peach there pulled triple and red. Fever, Fever coming in there. First. And Peemark's getting hit out again. Fever in first. But Darky's going to take that co that corner tighter to at least help them a little bit. But I mean, right now, it's just Fever Fever getting second there. It's kind of a shock. I did not expect that at all. And that will help them out a lot. They were in fourth. They are now tied for third. And they're up five on, which is kind of surprising. And I didn't expect, you said Ocean was number four. They're, they're already way down at six right now. What can they do to make it fast? I definitely think it comes down to just, um, you know, your mentality, just having this, you know, it's comeback time mentality. The past was in the past. Those races didn't go as well as I wanted them to. We need to just realize, okay, focus on my item usage, focus on asking myself, what do I need to do next race? Making sure that everything's full, cool, calm, and collected in the next race. Yeah, and I would agree with you there, but I mean, these track selections, we are going to Super Bowl, and I would expect, since he's been doing it the whole time, and this is Super Bell Subway as, you know, the, this is a great choice because we are in the home of the Super Bell. And, you know, I I just think Pete Ricks is going to peg again. I just have a feeling he's going to go back and, and that's going to be of his benefit. But if he, you know, I really looks like he's going to opt to run. I believe he might opt to bag if he gets hit out here. Although, currently, um, not a ton of items pulled in the pack just yet. We'll go for the double item box as they get the draft for a little bit, as Humerx getting a trick off of that long ramp, as Darky in first, as Humerx in second right now. Yeah, I think Darky again is gonna, these double reds are gonna be key, but Ooh. throwing a red at second place is certainly not gonna help Humerx get into first, but, you know, this two screen here, and, you know, Darky shroomed up, he did have a mushroom, so that's gonna extend his lead more. But he does not have any defense as of yet, only having really a green which gets hit out, and that means Pmerx is able to hit him out. And I mean, right now, Ooh, and the and shot the coming shot. in after Darky crossed that set, so but no red was pulled, which means that it, it will Darky will be safe for now. But right now, it's the coin counter nine to six. I mean, he can gain a lot of time, but the trail Ooh, can't can't the trail and that was big for him. To, extend his lead a little bit and he works now to play from second place again with multiple power items coming up yeah we'll pull double reds again unfortunately not gonna have a shroom to take this shortcut faster but it looks like ooh darky getting rid of the nana early there will cost a little bit of space as p Merks has another red will red out darky as p Merks takes first the crowd going a little bit wild here as p Merch has the banana for defense, currently trailing it right now, is going to opt to cycle into the next set. As Darky going to get up with the shortcut, p Merch missing the green, can the smart bounce do anything here? It doesn't look like it, but p Merch getting the draft up here. It's neck and neck as p Merch gets ranged at the line, at the snisk from Darky. As Darky takes yet another first place. And Peach dodging in the back, they're gonna get, they're gonna get third there. What a race from Peach, and Pink Gold Peach getting hit at the line, I believe that's not all, but they only lost the spot, but Rift getting up there, and I mean, fourth is ever so close, or five points, that's, you know, that's the real battle here, because we know Darky and P-Marks are locked in that top two, that Rang shot from Darky was certainly impressive, but he waited for Kim to set himself to go back into second place before reaching that double box, because he knew that he would pull something like that in second. I thought it'd be a red, but a boomerang there will suffice and get him the win. So, I mean, right now, you think Darky and P-Merch, think...
I definitely think, um, I definitely think P. Merck's based off of, um, just, um, based off of, like, how he's feeling in the land right now. I definitely think he looks, um, he looks a bit collected even after that unfortunate rank shot at the NISC. But we're going to Dragon Driftway next. Um, bit of an anti one to my knowledge, so P. Merck's could potentially get the lead early on here and potentially establish a front run into first. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if Darky was able to hold his own on this track, too, because, again, he's such an experienced player and can really play around his strengths. But I think not to go for the coins, though, that's an interesting strategy. And, and I mean, he is probably going to take this shortcut coming up right yep. here. Cutting, but he Ooh, this is it. does, does get not mini get that drip. And I As mean, P Merks gets first. Let's go back to the two screen. We got P Merks up in first. That's double defense to help him extend the lead a little bit. Sides the ops to max that red, and that's an interesting play with Guardian and two mushrooms. That will certainly help him get back into first potentially. And he does not need to go for that pull, but getting hit out there, I mean, that's just that's unfortunate. Has to burn that mushroom and Let's see what he can do around these next few corners, out, even after getting Ooh, redded. Unfortunately, he gets redded. Yeah, P-Merks, as we're seeing, is going to opt to take the Nisk again. Gets it pretty cleanly, unfortunately bumps a bit. As they're going to get another defense item. Unfortunately, the coin is behind the Nana. As, yeah, there comes the Ghost. Gonna just have the coin left. As it's going to be coin Nana again for P-Merks as the blue shell comes out. But it looks like P-Merks has a decently sized lead. Retro gonna come out, gets iframed, as P Merck's a lot of lengths behind Darky in the mid pack right now. As I believe Anomaly is currently in second place, as we are going to go over to Darky's view in sixth. Yeah, and this is a shocker to me. I did not expect him to be anywhere near the back, but he will pull good items here. We'll pull a star mm -hmm. here, and that will certainly help him catch up. And he will take that shortcut. Yes, he will, but. You know, he could get back into second very easily and waiting for that double will help. Pull. And ooh, this is a great pull from Darky. But I mean, this he is going to get read it out, red. unfortunately for him, and get all the way back to to fourth. But P Merks will take the win. And I mean, we'll see what Darky can get up here. Does, does the plant, can the plant get anybody? It doesn't look it like will it. Not, it will not. It get into the top half. That is big for Fever. They needed that race pretty badly. And they're going to pass Anomaly for third. And Fever coming out of nowhere. We, some name we didn't really know about before today, but they are doing exceptionally well in this first round. Absolutely. Definitely love seeing these new names just rise up to the competition here. Fever on this unconventional combo with the Pink Gold Peach is just using their items to the fullest and just being able to take this spot that they need to potentially get a top four finish in this first round. Absolutely, and we should we see two Waluigi stadiums. I wouldn't be surprised if that's picked. We see a Daisy Cruiser, Neo Bowser City. We see Royal Raceway and a Sunshine Airport, as well as Dolphin Shoals. But honestly, any of these tracks could be benefit to Fever because of how well they've been playing, getting into that third place. And we do go to Sunshine Airport. I don't know whose pick that was. That I believe that was Fever's. That was Fever's pick, so that benefits him, so he can get into that front here and i mean right now it's just it all comes down two races left and i mean this top four is looking pretty spaced out but fifth six could including ocean could make a run here absolutely the countdown starts and it looks like p is going to burn out again not necessarily something you want to see on a runner like sunshine airport but potentially a mushroom here especially in this grass cut could benefit uh p Merckx here yeah, and I think he's going to opt to hold this. He can afford, actually, he can afford to stay in the back because, again, it's a track where you can catch up. It is a runner. Can catch up on this track a little bit easier than some, like a Wario Stadium, for example. But we've seen this before from Beamer, so I'm not surprised. But falling off there work helped him in his catching up mechanics. If we go to Darky in first with the green shell in hand, and, I mean, getting this next item set is big for him, but... Another red, it could have hit, I think it hit the crate there. There was a warning for that, but it did hit the crate. And Darky will have defense, at least for now. As he is, his lead is ever so growing and growing. So, what do you think this pack is thinking now? 
I think the number one thing that's on everybody's mind is, is the shock coming? Is there going to be a shock? I know p Mertz has that build which can potentially dodge it, but you see the link very far back? That has a huge potential for a shock, which could just change up the place it's so much. Darky is so far back that I don't think it'll really affect him, but p Mercs, this could be huge if they're able to time their bullet bill at the right time. I mean, they opt to use it now, which is perfectly fine, because at least it's going to help you a little bit. And extend a little bit more than, than expected. I thought he would use that. But now he is starting to gain himself over the rest. And I mean, he has two mushrooms in hand. He's probably going to take the shortcut up here. And that'll at least help him get closer to Darky. But the oven double defense will be probably a lot for him to win after a poor performance last week. But was she in third? Anomaly getting hit out there. Someone in a bill with, I believe that's, uh, yeah, he went into a ghost, Pink Gold Peach going into a ghost, and I mean, these double reds aren't going to really matter mm -hmm. as long as Pink Gold Peach can keep third. I mean, that would be great for them. Looks like they will. Um, I believe Ocean has a star, but I believe Ocean will end up in fourth place as the Pink Gold Peach from Fever will secure the third. Yes, and Fever getting up there, and I mean, Anomaly getting a fifth, I mean, that's not the end of the world because you are up 10. Fever is pretty much locked. They, I think it's pretty much locked this top four. So, I mean, we got a, sh a surprise name in Fever. They came in and they showed why they're here and why they're, you know, they could be good at the game. But I was talking about this earlier, Baby Park yep. coming in from Darky. I'm not surprised whatsoever. I'm, it's, it's very funny to him and I can imagine that, but you know, this this last one, we got another yep, baby pork up that's again. anomaly thick in that. So that is that is that might happen, it might not, but you know, did it will be interesting how these players use this last race for some to go into second chance and some go into the get ready for the finals. This is their last race to really get their mechanics, adjust their mechanics, even if the top four is already locked per se. There is some time for these players to make some adjustments that they can use for the next few rounds and i expect to see that on waluigi stadium absolutely this is an excellent course if you want to mushroom up to the top um there's also a no item shortcut that i'm interested in seeing um how many people are going to end up taking here should have in this dirt section where you have this little patch of regular road as countdown is going to start darky in first right now as we currently can't see anything for a bit, but we are back. Darky going to go into second. p -Mercs trailing the red. Darky going to outline p -Mercs for a little bit as we go to the split screen view. And I mean, right now, p -Mercs having that red is going to help him, especially when we get to the famous half fight section. He's probably going to use this when he can. I mean, he will opt to chain, but again, Darky having defense, and that will only help him as he will probably go for a double here and just try to keep his lead try to extend it but he looks opting to go up top taking that glider path will be a play that could help him in his coin counter but losing a place as well could be something to watch out for his anomaly in second place trying to really Ooh, use this horn but gets ranked at the same time and i mean p marks having those triple mushrooms are going to be big but darky taking those shortcuts clean enough to Keep his lead, and p Marks is slowly approaching. I mean, he does have a boomerang in hand. Let's see what he does here. Does go for that item box up there, taking that half bike section as clean as ever, and has a mushroom in hand as well. I mean, just trying ever so slightly to gain time on Darky using these mushrooms. Gets out of red as well. I mean, just trying ever so slightly to gain time whatsoever, because right now Darky can just coast, and I mean, is up there by wow actually both these guys are pretty much gone at this point but double rest will help as we go to a two here and dark having a horn in first will be big as well looks like they're going to opt to save it for this blue shell that's coming up onto the mini map interesting to see if p Marks will be able to capitalize off of this with the blue shell going to force out the um super horn i'm not sure if they're aware of it um okay they will end up throwing both of the reds after, but ooh, nice bomb. Unfortunately, the red will connect. Not spaced out quite enough as Darky will take the first place. 
That was a close finish at the end there, but I believe that's Anomaly taking third. And I believe Fever getting seventh that race, but it, I don't think it will matter as, okay. as Fever will advance. It takes third by one as well, so that was impressive from them. And kind of a shocker, because not see that coming from Fever. And I mean, taking third there, you got your you got your top, you got Darky, you got P-Marks, you got Fever, and you got Anomaly. But these players in fifth, sixth, and seventh, oh, their day is not over quite yet. They got second chance coming up, and I mean, that's going to be a big indicator of what happens in this finals. Top four advance from there. And I mean, what are we going to see from that? What do you expect from second chance? I'm definitely going to expect a lot of chaos. I definitely think we're going to see first getting gospel around a lot. We're going to see a ton of names at the top, a ton of names just changing positions around and around. Uh, it's just super exciting to see all these new names as well. I remember... Um, a lot of folks in CKL were just super hyped to see when the league first started, the Division 3, right. which was their lowest division, division of all new players. Just getting to see all these new players learn the game and sort of build their mechanics in. Granted, it was a different environment, 6v6, but nonetheless, it's awesome to see that. And we will be right back after this short break, right into the second chance. See you then, folks. Listen closely, approach me, suck it close, me. Close and try to 
good we're back we are back hello everyone welcome back to cross street for four uh this time we have some the stream working and we're back again i'm anomaly sorry i have good words <laughs> and we're going to be going into our last chance qualifiers uh these are the seven players who unfortunately did not make it through the first two rounds but have another chance now to make it into finals with these next eight races. Yes. So we got eight races, seven players, top four get to move on. So a little more than top half get to move on, which is very exciting. But we just had a really good set, you and I. How are you feeling after that? Definitely nervous. Uh, I definitely could have played way better in that. Uh, I had some unfortunate things. Oh, it looks like we're going right into it. Ooh, Look, we got El Jefe in the left and Rift on the right. It's like El Heavy's running the Donkey Kong Yoshi bike on rollers, so which is not a bad setup. And Peach on the blue, or the blue standard pipe frame. Yeah, both both right. good vehicles. Pipe frame is a pretty pretty good vehicle in the meta now. Start on Royal Raceway, which Royal Raceway is definitely a anything can go type of track. Yeah, you could be in last place and be hit by so many items, but because of how long this track is and how many item sets there are, you can pull great items and catch up. Yeah, we see somebody trying to bomb snipe Rift right off the way. And I I know Rift is excited to be playing this track. He, this is the only track he was picking all last set and unfortunately didn't get chosen. So I have a feeling this was his choice. <laughs> so so let's, see, let's see how he how he fares here. Looks like Rift going really aggressive here with items. So it's yeah, like getting motion blue. tried the oh, block the... for the blue, unfortunately, but getting a little bit of a breakaway. So hopefully it's not too much of a detriment point. It's like, well, I think using that much more work. He might be a little early, because maybe he's a sooner for maybe a cup, but take now the first place here over Rip. Looks like now we got Rip in second, uh, in first. It looks like we got Rosalina in second. Oh, no, Rosalina in third. No. Yeah. LFA first now. It looks like a fight between Ocean and LFA right now. Ooh, Ocean holding that bomb. Let's see if she tries to get a dirty play on the glider here. Nope, nope. still opting to hold on. Still very close pack in our top three here. From this, oh, oh, try this oh, the banana and gets the no trap on and the, the double is not good for no, not what he needed. As no, he's no items, barely not enough coins, and in fourth right now is not yes. where he wants to be. So okay, now we're gonna go back into the dual screen. Looks like Rift now is taking the first place and has a decent lead in first right now. Yeah, his pick is really working out for him here. And then we see the Rosalina player is Yemi. Ooh, saw a bomb go up. I don't know who hit that. If it hit anyone, at least. Looks yeah, like... I think that was Ocean's bomb that she was holding before. Let's see, we're gonna see LFA take this nice little cut here. Also, we'll like... see what they can get. Oh, don't get too close to that green. The green oh, but it still gets hit by it. got the lag trail. See, Riften's in first, but Ocean's right behind him. Could yeah, actually this maybe is very take over close. the second place here. You get a good item set in the double items. See what Rift gets. Rift gets Coin Banana, which is not, not bad. bad, but Ocean, oh, Ocean another the Shroom. Gonna be able to Shroom's shroom up into, up into first. first. It takes... Oh wait, here goes the Banana! Oh, oh, oh my it's got the Snipe! But oh my a really gosh. good play by Rift. That, so, was, that was, was really so close. Great. But good good front run between Ocean yeah. and Rift there. And it looks like Yemi gets second. Bit. Oh, LFA falling into fifth mm -hmm. after that missed item box, unfortunately. That is not what he needs here. But it's still anyone's race. He's still got seven races still here. Could, could get a nice first place catch up and sit back in the top four. Oh yeah, I can already tell this is this is gonna be a nice close room game. See, almost thinking that someone's about to pick Royal Raceway again. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, we gotta make sure we don't get any Let's repicks say, here. That would that would be very detrimental. May take the lead, but ten point penalty can ruin that lead. Oh yeah. Now we're going See, the Donut oh, wow. Plains yeah. three. Which is an interesting pick for second, as it can also be seen as a bagging track for some people. Yes, it can. If, if you know how to do the shroomless cut, it can be pretty good front running. And especially in a smaller lobby like this, with the shots being less likely, front running, if you know those shroomless cuts, can be very, yeah. very good. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sounds like we had a DC. So, everybody, hold on one set. No problem. All right. 
We're going to go back to face cam. Hey, it's just me, guys. i got to keep you guys entertained. We did have a disconnect, unfortunately, so we're going to have to close lobby and reopen. Uh, don't know if we'll do a gentleman's rule of of picking all donut planes three, or if people will allow to be picking maps again. It depends on what's on the side. But hopefully we can continue these seven races once they can reconnect back. Uh, okay. It looks like the lobby's still open, unfortunately. It should be hopefully closing soon. Uh, no, but because of the DCE. Uh, we have seven races left. Again, here is the lineup for the final or the final chance qualifiers. We got again LFA, Rip, Beelit, Ocean, M Sheep, Rummy, and Yemi. We got some pretty good competition in the first race, and I'm excited to see more of this competition in the later races. But it looks like now we finally got that room closed, uh, so that we can reopen. They have that person who disconnected come back in. Uh, like I said before, we could either have a Donut Plains 3 agreement so that we run that track stack, or people will be able to pick their tracks again. Uh, in my opinion, I like the gentleman's rule of everyone picking that track again since it should have been picked, but not. But we'll have to see. But it looks like now we got another room open. Hooray. Uh, people are joining back. Uh, let's go back to that thing about that Royal Raceway uh, race again. Uh, we saw that El Jefe was actually taking a good lead there at the beginning, but unfortunately hit a banana that got trapped in the doubles and had to lose that placement from third and dropped all the way down to fifth, unfortunately. We saw a nice battle between Ocean and Rift, which was a big surprise no, for that first place as Rift was about to take first place for the end of the race, but Ocean did come up with a mushroom at the end and Rift almost got that banana at snipe at the end. Very, very close race. Uh, hoping for this race. Trying to keep you guys entertained. I'm doing my best here. Uh, I was told that I wasn't going to have my face frozen on the screen for a good while, but here we are again with my face here. Hello, you get to see me. Uh, are we, are we, do we have eight in the lobby? I think we got eight in the lobby. Also, we're going to be starting up here again soon. Uh, they're going to be picking an eight-race setting, but they've been only doing seven races since Royal was beginning. Right? Right, like he said, if you guys did it, heard or not, seven races, last race. But that. Three is free to pick, and if you want to. Looks like everyone's picking their own tracks again for this one. Maybe we'll get a funny Donut Plains 3 pick again for uh, the second race to just see like, if nothing ever happened. Yeah, that would be interesting, but instead we are going to Electrodrome this time. Electrodrome, all right. Electrodrome is an interesting track in my opinion. I think this is the only... Technical one-word track in the game. What 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 was that? It's the only one-word track in the game. Oh, Electric Dome is all one word, so it's a one-word track in the game. Everything else at least has two words. I never thought about that. Very interesting. just a little fun fact that yeah. we start off here. That's Rift awesome. in fourth, fifth place, dropping down to six. Maybe pull a good item here. Ooh, it looks like Ocean gets credit out here in the beginning. They. Uh, a rift gets a mushroom. Oof, Luigi disappears off the screen from a red. This is besides the mushroom here, which is not, in my opinion, a bit ideal. But yeah, we're gonna switch over to off. our dual cam here. I was like, uh, uh, Rift is or El Hefe is in second, oh, going in the first because uh, Pink Path is technically a bit faster than the Green Path. So to be able to take that lead in first now using the Pink Path. Yeah, unfortunately, using that coin a little too early, so got another coin then. Looks like they both know a lot of people in this lobby like to play aggressive. I see a lot of yeah. green shells being thrown. Uh, people are trying to get those snipes out, you know, on gliders and everything. And uh, although that could be a decent strategy to maybe try to get in the first, that means you're also losing your defenses for when other people play aggressive. So. Yeah. You definitely, definitely want to try and hold on to this. your defenses, like right there. Rift being able to dodge that uh, red instead of just being aggressive with it. Okay. Very good play. Well, here comes the red towards LFA. But unfortunately, now making him lose his first place. Now, like a fourth, pulls a bomb. Ooh, let's see what he does. Yeah, fourth. Well, now, which we're drifting around the way off the H thing. And because of how close these uh, two trap, uh, the foot paths are, you can throw a bomb and hit someone on the other yeah. trap, which is a bit funny, but it can happen. Looks like Rift is trying to take a mushroom to the cut. Now, putting himself in second, but here comes a red oh, oh turn. Rift getting unlucky with our LFA gang, yeah. unlucky with those reds today. Luckily, though, he did. They did stop before the glider. Yeah. So even though he did get hit by the red, he was able to regain that speed with glider. We're in the third lap here now with Alhefe having a fight. Maybe trying to go after Rift here with it, trying to get it out. 
Clank's gonna eat the blooper, though he gets away the screen block and the traction uh, nice debuff on there. Nice recovery there, almost drifts it the wrong way, but... He just does his mushroom a bit early, I think a little too early, but there's one more item that could pull a mushroom here to take cut, and maybe get in the first place. Oh, gets red, it has green, red. Yeah, still trying to go... Oh, oh it's aggressive! Have for the offense. For the defensive. Oh, because they want to aggressively that right hit him, but he might. Oh, oh try to see. Race for third. Fourth. Oh, that, fourth. That being aggressive did cost him that second place since Ocean was very close to the line there. Ocean taking another first place here. Both now two first places in a row, and especially front running that bad track there, you know. Even with a mushroom there, I, you know, I think Ocean took that first place cleanly. Yes, very, very well done from our players here. He's not right. Let's see what track picks we got. We have fourth and sixth place track picks here. Let's see. We going with Grumble for Rift. Let's see what LF picks. Squeak, squeaky squeaky oh, good rank. pick. Okay. Good pick from LF. Could be a good runner, but it could also be a good shroom up for that last cut towards the end. Now we see how what comes up here. We see a Sky High Sunday. We got Moo Meadows. We have a Waluigi Stadium, Shroom Ridge, and a Music Park. A lot of variety, a lot of different types of tracks we got. We got Shroom Up, Runner, yes. Moo Meadows. Meadows. I love it. I love it. Hello. Uh, John, I'm going to make sure to keep track of Pogs. Just in case. Just in case. Just in case, Just in case we're going into uh, uh, race three. It may say second race, but this is actually the third race for people who are just running in. Uh, going in with Moon Moon Meadows, very, a very short track, uh, seen here, and only two item sets, so you better hope that you can pull some good items with these only two item sets. Yes. Let's see. Unfortunately, LFA missing that first item set. Oh, barely dodging the green throne from, uh, Yemi right there. Green shell hitting the cow, unfortunate. Uh, uh, okay, now in second. Yeah, I mean some miss, miss lines, but we are keeping it up with Rummy in first. A uh, I haven't seen yet in this yeah. race yet. Not able to get the banana out in time. Unfortunately, going to get hit out there. And then we see uh, Rummy taking taking the lead, going into lap two. So two, well, yeah, Rummy in first. Looks like Ocean is in second with B lit in third. Oh, almost banana got snipe. the banana almost People are trying to go for banana L snipes. Elfie is a very aggressive player, and let's see, let's see if it works out for him. Let's see if he. It's going to take this cut up here. Oh, oh didn't even I, see that coming. Man, we're going to switch over to Riff now, who's in third place with a banana. Ooh, Red gets thrown by Ocean, almost hitting him in the process. And he he's like getting hit out. Oh, he's oh, getting his revenge! So, what about here goes Happy Happy gets hit by the rank? Uh, what is just carnage up oh here? My oh my god, Rummy is, Rummy is taking the lead. Rummy I didn't even notice. So far ahead oh now. my he's god. Oh my god. The carnage in the pack here. All right, man. It was like no one has any items now going into this third lap. Probably pull something good here. Oh, yeah, Shroom. We can a take nice that. Shroom. Let's Put... see if Rift holds on to it for the cut. Here comes Yemi. Oh, using a little too early there. Yeah, I think I think Rummy is going to be gonna taking this. this away. Unfortunately, missing the last set Whoa, there oh, and getting cool. trailed. Oh. We go, Yemi can we decide to go for the glider here. Uh, the next pick. Here comes a build up in behind. Maybe try to give another placements. I'll have oh. to turn him back. Oh, oh my god, obviously with green! Oh, he's back green! Oh. It's a seven oh, from Riff, seven. but that was <laughs> insane. But great, great first from Rummy. That's the first first of the of the day. Very wow. impressive. Wow, Rummy, I guess Rummy just took that entire yeah. race. You know, you know, maybe you know, maybe some people are better, you know, running on just more He's you know, easier tracks, more simple tracks, you know. You don't need the yeah. more complicated tricks. Yeah. To, yeah, Moon Meadows Moon is Meadows not a very not. technical trick. But if you know how to run it and people can't catch up, you're fine. Yeah, the the carnage just just in oh. the back was insane that race. The, we have a very aggressive lobby here. We do have a very aggressive lobby. We've seen a Toad's Turnpike pick here. Oh. It should be really good for Al Afe as it is a nice, even more friendly track. Oh, we're going the dry, oh, dry, goodness. dry, 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 dry desert. Uh, dry, dry desert. Let's dry. see if any of our players opt to bag here, because this is probably this the is heaviest bagging the track. The heaviest bagging track and probably the most infamous bagging track. Yes, absolutely. I personally like to drive around the pillar at the start. It's a nice little way to ease into the race. I always, every bagging track, I always do a few donuts at the beginning and then I go straight forwards. See what happens. I was like, no one's often come for bagging on this track. Yeah, which honestly, not not a bad choice with a smaller lobby set, as, as we mentioned before. Oh, and there was 
No, no, if it's the down Loki. Pokey. It's fine. No, I, no yeah, Pokey. It's like we're gonna hear. See the fall drop making cut the take the single. Okay, triple mushrooms you call simple. I I would have yeah. held triple mushrooms here, because that cut towards the end is huge. huge. Yeah. Huge cut and can easily get you in the first place easily. See see ocean with a rank. Oh, my oh God. two ranks. Two ranks in play. Here comes two reds from Hefe. Yeah. Here we go. Now swapping over to the double uh double thing. Uh, Rev holding a boombox in second with L Heavy with two reds in four, yeah, and I'm cool. trying to battle off with three against B Lit. Yeah, B Lit oh, being like a little too risky there. Just barely gets hit by the ring and turns oh. it away. Yeah, L Heavy. So if they tried to be more defensive, and it is not working out for him, unfortunately. Ooh. But also needs to get those coins up. We see Rift in the in first with ten coins. That's going to be very beneficial for him. Beneficial to the banana. Nice, good defense for this track. Yeah, but I guess like we said before. You can be in the back of this track, and you could easily catch up. Oh, the LF for triple greens and a star. Yeah, let's see if, if he, he holds a star for the end. He could. Oh, okay. okay going, going for it right. Going now. for it right here. Maybe cool. Maybe some good items here, and take this huge shortcut. See, we get thin, oh, no. uh, only mushroom a red, and he doesn't even get there. Ocean looks like they have a defense in second. Able to defend. Oh, oh, they tripled to the top up quickly. Yeah, let's see. Able it looks like Rift is running in first right now. Yeah, we As we the dual switch screen. over to our duel to see that. And he has double protection, so that's looking pretty good for him. It's good for double protection for reds, but if there is a blue in play, that could that could be bad for him. Yes, well, no. and as he has a bit of a breakaway here, and it looks like... I, I know it's a little silly, but the standard tires do have more traction, so they are a little more helpful on this kind of track. It's true, that he's very and true. Here oh, here comes, comes the blue! blue. Here comes the blue. Will people pull then items here to catch up and take the huge cut, or will he be able to hold this first place here? Oh, it looks like the link gets hit out here, and now everyone's just far behind in the pack. Here comes the star. Will well, Heavy be able to take the cut here and try to catch up yeah, from Rift? Rift's gonna get that first, and it looks like Yemi first. is gonna go for that second. Oh, yeah! Here comes Heavy. Oh, Yemi slides oh, himself nice. oh, 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 a banana, but nice. Oh, oh, getting the play for third. Oh, very man. good first from Rift here, and a nice second from Yemi. This is a very that? close game we have here. I say, yeah, we got a lot of first places from people we haven't seen, you know, get first places in the last rounds. You yeah. know, this is where people can shine now and show that they truly can race against the others. Absolutely. This is a great showing, good preparation to, for when they hopefully get into finals. Yeah, I agree. Well, they're going back to squeaky clean sprint for LFA, and we see, we'll, we'll see what we can get here. Oh my gosh, we have to chat. <laughs> Oh, Highland Green. That's my 2 2 partner right there. Huge. MC3. Now, this is a notorious bag. That's a notorious bag and shirt. Okay, five hurdle. Yeah, we're we're going all for the bag and tracks here today. We're but, going to F0 for our Mute City pick here. Yeah, not not much of a bag and track, I don't think. It, it is definitely beneficial to have those shrooms. And, and you can take that and cut shrooms. Yes, it, it is it possible. Is and it is... It's difficult, but it, it's definitely worth it if you can get it. Absolutely. I, that's one I still need to practice first. Same here, same <laughs> here. <laughs> Let's see, we'll start off. Well, people, see, now, the way you want to start this off is right see, there. Yeah. Try going absolutely. there, get as many coins as you can. Ready wall, playing it safe, getting all those coins. Everybody else opts to go ahead. So we see Rift is already. He's catching up because he has 10 coins while everyone else is blowing coins. And now. Yeah, people might be in the lead and have items, and now look at this. Oh, He's come well, out the, the fifth triple here. banana the carnage thing. from Hell Epe. Everybody close to him going out. I didn't even Rift, the items. Unfortunately, missing another item set there. Oh, horn oh, drives oh, off. Yeah, got, probably got a little oh, too scared yeah. of that horn there. Looks like we see Hell Epe in first here. Looks like he decides to go for the items, the, the items for a safe play here, which I of course, yeah, see, agree. I, I probably would not go for the for the no. shroom was cut in this setting right now. And I don't know <laughs> if it's. it's is it, I don't, is it possible on inward though? I actually do not know. Cause it's, it's, but it's probably. Oh, oh it nice. the the Shane, but it's coming out, but the trail. But you know, it's taking that cotton inward is probably difficult. We're going to switch over the rift here. It's now in six, right behind E lit here. Who looks like to have triple shrooms coming up in the lot two here. Yeah, let's see if Rift can do anything to catch up. Oh, oh, could have popped the ghost to avoid that, unfortunately. But let's see what they can get at this double set here. Oh, uh, the unlucky coin from first place. Yeah, not not terrible. Able to cycle here. Let's see if Rift knows the cut coming. If the shrooms are going into our... Oh, we're going to Alape. Oh, 
We're going to see he's in second. Oh, now we're going into our dual screen. What's yes. Rift use the mushrooms yeah. there and not to not take the cut? No, I wonder, very... I wonder if he's not familiar with the track. Because we do have a lot of new fighting game co uh, opponent uh, competitors here today, so they might not know all the shortcuts in all of our tracks. Here. I don't know if we, we missed it. I'll have it hit like three people with a bomb on the <laughs> line. So now they have oh a nice good little break here from one, two. Yeah, Yemi. Yemi in first, which is another another person we haven't really seen in first place here. Yeah. You know, it's 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 anyone pretty much Bobby right now. Oh, you know? unfortunate second place coin there for it's a Pepe. That's oh. terrible to see. Oh no. Let's see, see if Yemi can take this one home and let's see if El Epe can get anything from this double box to help us. Ocean took the shroom or either shroom or shroom was cut and gone in the first place here. Oh there you go. Wait, Wait the shroom? Was it shroom? I don't know. He, all I saw was Yoshi taking that cut. I don't know if they had shrooms nice. or not. Yeah, it looks like Ocean is going to take that and rift unfortunate set seventh place there. Yeah, Ocean shooting into first place on that last cut, but still very good performance from Yemi there. It's going to be a tough competition between fourth and fifth there. We got a... Uh... Well, also, we don't have the results from the first game, unfortunately. Yeah. But right now, it, it actually is a very close race for that fourth place spot here. Every it's still anybody's game. A right hundred percent. As we see an MC three again, we see two random hits here. Random could be an interesting strategy. You never know. You could pull something that no one has ever ran before in the random. Also, we're going to oh, excite bike. bike excite another bike excite arena. bike arena. Unfortunately, when we first started to talk about this, it was stuck in my face, but. Uh, <laughs> We, as we told, this is totally a fan favorite track here. Everyone, yeah, totally. everyone loves this it. track. Never, never. No one hates this track. And Technical gave it the thumbs up of approval. Yes. No, he did not tell you a thumbs down or hate the track. He loved this track. Absolutely. We see all of our players beaming with joy right now as they go across this. See, that's why if you ever see him in lounge, just, just pick, pick, pick Sight Bike and you'll be yeah, real every, happy. He'll be everyone's friend. Yeah. Really. And we go back to Al Hefe here, who's in third place, but unfortunately he doesn't have an item in third here. It looks like he trailed it to hit someone at the beginning, if I remember correctly. Yeah, let's see, making sure we go for those coins here. Let's see, Al Hefe has been one of our more aggressive players here, and there he goes for that Luigi, immediately. Dang. Looks like we see Yemi and Yemi and Vila fighting for first place right now, with Al Hefe just close behind. Yeah, Vila definitely needs to get some traction here, as they are falling behind a little bit. Oh, Ooh, what's a trail, trail out here, and, and Yemi now has a with the red, red one. one. That's a that's a really good item out of one. Absolutely, let's see. Let's see if Al Hefe folds out to potentially oh, get the blue. No. Maybe a banana uh, snipe in progress? And that's, not, that's, not, not. that's not our Al Hefe. He is very aggressive. Oh, and Can there it is, he used the red. Right there. Oh, here comes the green! Is it gonna hit? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, it didn't hit! Right, okay, switching over oh, to the rift! Gonna red out! But he doesn't oh, get no. it because El Happy did have a banana last before, right before we swapped. Yeah, so now we have our top two are defenseless here, so we'll see if anybody shrooms up past them on this turn here, or if they can get hit out. I say, people may be in the back of the pack, but you get shrooms, you get stars, and you take those cuts, you're instantly Ooh, back in the turn. Start. Not great for El Happy there. Rift eight. Able to take the lead here with a bomb. Gonna throw the bomb back. But oh, here comes Yemi, Yemi right from, from behind with the trail. Oh. It's, it's a riff with the trail. Switching so over to the with in first and second. But the red gets boot around. Oh, and he's gonna hit the trail. <laughs> oh, he gets trapped. Oh. <laughs> it's so close. So tight. But we're kicking it much higher, guys. Ye please. Yemi has seemed to be more. We're going more the defensive, dual screen. So probably gonna be holding on to that. Oh, banana, banana snipes, snipes coming maybe. from everywhere. Oh my gosh, trying to hit someone. Maybe doesn't unfortunately hit anyone with those bananas. So here goes the last. Set. This could this could this decide the race here. For anybody. Will he pull we mushrooms here? Maybe ocean. he sees the mushrooms. Ocean ocean's there, but up. oh, here comes the red. Oh, hits. get out! Oh, Yemi getting oh, the first the banana the end. But the bananas. Oh my goodness. Man, we see that was yummy. That was some word here. soup right there. As we saw chaos break out and our top this, spots. Great. This fourth spot is anyone's right now. That's, Absolutely, we see it's only by I think from fourth to last is only six points. Yeah, we see Ocean and Yemi starting to break away a little bit with Rummy, LFA, Rift, Femi Sharp, Fem Femi Shep, and B Lift all still very close. So. Without the knowledge from our first game, which hopefully we we're getting up yet. Okay, cool. We will get the results from the first game, but yeah, right now, pick already. very close. Well, here comes the MC3. Oh, this is a very notorious track. I see. I see. I see. Riff getting yeah. ready. This is his. As spicy would say, uh, "Why are we that. here?" That's what he would say. 
<laughs> he wants to say so much. <laughs> as we start off here, it looks like no one is again opting for bagging. Again, it could be a safe pick as we have a small lobby for this one. So many people trailing right at the beginning, almost getting yeah. hit. Oh my gosh, almost yeah, first mate go for the trail here. Ocean was being nice and Ooh. not trailing and almost got trailed because of it. Been verified here, but people are taking that little that little yeah. cut, maybe small, but it's it does save, save a lot time. of time. Yeah, Ocean is being a very kind player here, not oh, but opting not a trail, LFA. but LFA is our most aggressive player oh, out but here. Oh, that turn and stuck in the, in the dirt. Switching over here comes to Rift, Rift now here. In fourth, fifth With the shoes, nice, smart play, get the coins. Oh, no. going. oh my god! Oh, no. <laughs> don't, don't get hit! Don't get hit! Yes. Okay, it looks like we're fine here. That trail is still out. Here comes the rain. Yeah. Oh, the hit. oh my god, trying, just trying to get him out of here. Yep, oh, there, there it is. Who's that? Who's that oh, trail? See oh, my god. Knocking out, I think that was Rummy? I was Rummy, yes. Ooh, Ripple Greens in third place. Could be big for Rift here as he can try to get P-Wit out of here. Yeah, we see Rift has been one of here our more comes. conscious players here, making sure they have 10 coins at all time, opting to go out for them. Very smart play. Oh, FA in dose right now. Oh, and trails oh, are gone! That is the worst feeling oh, in this game no. ever, when you get trailed by, like, I, I'm willing to bet Beelit did not even see that coming. It felt like just out of nowhere got hit. Here comes Blue right now. Does Ocean have a defense here? What if she can hit? What's well, like yeah. she's not going to get hit there. She doesn't have a defense there. Now Rift and LFA double to catch up. Oh, and Rift or LFA is even beating people. Oh my gosh. Lunch and dinner oh, right there. Look at his red for dessert. Oh my gosh. We see Rift and first with a shroom. With a shroom. Let's see. Do they opt to go for a cut coming up here? Or are they going to say? Hey, I don't think we're going to see another blue. I think they're gonna take this cut up here. here. Very cut. nice. Throw the banana. And it's... let's see, let's see if Rift can get the first. Rift, does, oh, I Rift is getting the first it. here. We see a Rift second in first, first place because yeah. Rift got first in that Royal Raceway game, so it's good. this could be we really got good. For he's coming back. Uh, calculate the scores. We see Ocean gets second, B up for third, and that Rummy in fourth. No, the Fem Ship in fourth. Fifth is Rummy, sixth is El Hefe, and the last... Yeah, that was great Emmy. for Rift. And now we are going into our last race here. Let me just remind the players, since it is not going to say final race. All right, so just a reminder, this next race is the last race in the set. Last race. Saw some fairly close competition here going into this last race. And it could this could be anyone's fourth place here. El Hefe, this time going for the Baby Park here, uh, which is a very funny pick. But we you never know. People have picked Baby Park before, gone first place. It can happen. It can absolutely happen. Seeing the sunshine. Somebody thinking, thinking hard here on their track pick. And we see sunshine the Sunshine Airport. Could we get a random pick, though, for the last one? That could Gentleman's random? <laughs> oh, no. No, nope, oh, Baby Park. Why are we here? Baby. We just talk for a second after this. <laughs> Spicy is upset with the baby we park. We get the baby park. Anything could happen See, here. See, people thought I was going to be the one picking baby park. But no, I wasn't. I made, I... He took a screenshot. Screen like, <laughs> yes, we are at baby park. <laughs> Let's see, why well, anyone... Again, people can bag on this track. It is... You could be two laps behind, yep. and you could still win this race. Yeah, we see Rift making sure to get those coins up, as we saw before. Very smart play, especially on baby park. Pulled back for the first two, three laps. Get Say those it. coins up, so then hopefully you can shoot up with some stars and mushrooms. Say, as Snoop Dogg once said, get your money up, not your funny up. Absolutely, absolutely. So you see, see here, both, both have pretty high coin counts. Yeah. See some shrimp. Failing in see, third with the red right now. Oh, he gets rained out, unfortunately, but still can hold on here. As we got to go into El Jefe, he gets sniped by the green here. Trying to throw reds here, maybe try to catch up with these placements. Like I said, you can be in last place here, get a full star bill, and you can catch up with two laps. Easy. Here comes a, here a ghost, ghost here. Beautiful on this. You don't want to get hit by any. Be something good. And here comes a red here for him to put out Remy into fourth place here. Ooh. Yeah, there it goes. And Yemi also getting hit there. Going to be able to shoot. Oh, oh using the turn right away. He swap over back over to Rift and Star right now. Trying to maybe try to suck up some items here. Here comes another Star. Training Stars. We're hoping maybe someone pulling Shock. Oh, this is Yo, really good. Get activate. Rift. Here comes our double as we go into our sixth lap. Sixth here. lap. Here we go. Final lap here. It's coming up around the corner. Here comes Stars. Could we pull a shot? Here we go. Activate. Oh, that's Rift a... pulls the dodge. He's dodging it. Could he get the first place here with the dodge? Coming up. See. It's yeah, neck and neck. 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 Taking the first place. For first. They second. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Gosh. 
And it looks like Rift is going to take a third place here. Maybe. Yeah, that was really, really Rift. good for Rift there. We don't know what's so, going that was the end of, of the races. We're going to need to calculate points oh and we'll gosh. get right back to you. Man, Biggie Park is a...
we're not on on the mic. Okay, we're good on the mic, I think it looks like now. We are back here at Gopher Broke August. Broad Street Floor number four. Finals for Mario Kart 8. Thoughts. My name is Spicy and I am on the mic by myself today because all the normal casters are playing in finals because they're all very good at this game. So, how are we all doing today? It's been a long day, a lot of stuff going on in terms of one, the FGC. The FGC is great, by the way. If you haven't known soon, by the way, I don't think I even showed it. But first of all, playing on here with the arcade stick, we gotta rip out the who we got here for Broad Street Floor. MK8 Deluxe at Go for Bro. And we have an absolutely electric finals coming up here. Let's take a quick look at the players. So, one thing we didn't get a chance to talk about earlier was who is breaking in to that final cut from LCQ. So, we saw from the earlier group we had Technical, Darky, Jinja, P Mercs, Rippy, Fever, MC, Anomaly all breaking in. But now, after that LCQ, we had Ocean, Rift, that should be saying Rift, not Rippy, uh, it's my apologies, Yemi, and Rummy. A lot of great players here, so I think I'm excited because when you look at this, us, there were some absolutely amazing players there. You have the technicals, you have the darkies, you have Jinja. These are all players you expect to see, all representing the state of New York. P Mercs, Ricky coming in, MC Anomaly Ocean, he, some of PAs there at best. Fever, Rit, Yemi, Rummy, all of these players on the other hand. These are players newer to the game in, in the sense that we, we haven't seen them play before. So I am very excited to see who we got going on here. I noticed also, quick shout out to Darky over on playing on my Switch, representing that and making me look very good with my time trial. So really happy to see that. Very excited for what Darky is going to be able to do. I'm excited to see who we got going on here. Put your predictions in the chat because we are going to be in for an amazing gameplay here today. The lobby's already opening up as well. And now we got a chance to see who we got. Remember, 12 players in room. So this is going to be incredibly fun. This is going to change up the meta a lot. We're going to see players on for the first time. Not going to be able to see anything here. You want to take a look at what it's how, what, how this is right now? You want to take a peek at how, what I'm doing right now? It's fun. So... Shout out to Ocean Rhapsody, who is coming over on stream right now. So I am, if you don't know, I am having to run the stream on myself. So I have all the screens here, just in case. Have the mic and you just have the notes. Yeah, and having the cast all this. So this is how I, this is how I casted the last month because no, none of the casters were here and it was only finals. So it was like, I had to do this. So, but yeah, shout out to all of them. Yeah, Ocean's been great. A lot of people here have been absolutely fun. So I'm excited for what we got here at Broad Street Blur. Go for Brofos. For the people playing finals, put a hooray in the chat for the people to see! We're kicking it off here, and we're going to Ribbon Road. Ribbon Road, not a track you see very often here at BSB, and really at the land setting. This is very predominantly known in the online meta is as a course that can be better in the back spots. You either want to get mushrooms, draft up in the top, use those mushrooms, take those cuts. Or you want to be in the back, just getting the better items. You can run this very well. It's a very difficult track in the game. But I am excited to see who we got. We got Darky repping the Black Yoshi on the red bitty buggy already in fifth place. Trying to move on up. Gets a mushroom into here. Going to able to perform what is known as a launch trick. You're getting a mini turbo off on that boost panel. Being able to flip your stick to the other direction. And it sets you up very nicely for this other setup here. As Darky is able to get into that double box. On the other side of our match, we have Technical. A world record holder in many different tracks here. Really able to see what he's going to be able to do. Oh, you see the top two. Really taking the advantage of this mushroom of that no, no item cut you can do right there and now technical in second place with a coin and now a boomerang boomerang has three shots here gonna able to line this up ginger moving up in the second place with those triple bananas trying to see if he's gonna be able to keep up much longer having to go wide in the process though and now darky still in first tech in two ginger in third these were your metal favorites at the start of this race and for absolutely great reasoning why Let's take a look over at the multi-view. We saw now the red shell coming over at Darky here. Technical going to be able to take that red shell, but not able to only get rid of defense. That's also only having coin here. So now top two, only having coins in these opening spots is going to make things very difficult to really change things up, especially because Darky was able to get double box here. Tech able to get a red shell now as well. Here we are going into lap three top two neck and neck pretty much here and if you look at the mini map as we see over at tech screen there is a 
break away and a uh, half. No one here is going to be able to touch them at the moment. Jinja, I think, is in third place. Banana, very well placed there as well. As they, as Darky and Tech navigate through those Mecha Koopas. The red zone is getting, and there comes the shock in play. Not a single dodge coming out, especially until you see the back. Uh, one of the Peaches has dodged, and now another player moving up here. This is probably going to be really good for Darky. Now, actually moving up, who's still in first place, able to chain into a double box. We look over at Technical, coming right on his tail. Has double reds potentially here. That's one red being thrown. I don't know if Darky has the defense to take care of it. No, Darky's going to get hit round the line, and that's going to give a chance for Technical to take first place here on the first race of Grand Finals. Insane. I mean, it's already been an incredibly clutch matchup so far, and you expect to see this kind of stuff happening here, but really, with how intense this set is going to be, I think it's going to be in for a one very fun finals. That was just race one. I didn't even get a chance to see the rest of the results because I'm screaming at the top of my lungs here. Finals just started. We are in for 11 more races. The best thing about Grands is that now it's 12 races here. In the online community, this is known as a Moki or just being able to a war. You have 12 races. This is the typical format here. You know, the adaptation really comes into play. Players are not going to be able to make those adjustments mid-race, mid-match. More with 12 races, you got some more room for error here. And we're going to see what track comes up next. We are going to Mount Wario. A very popular track overall. It's been popular ever since its release in Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U. It generally favors those top spots. There's not too many strong shortcuts on here. Keyword on strong. The shortcuts there are, while they are pretty integral to how the course is played, it's not going to make or break the game here. If you are able to drive this course, a very difficult course, you are able to run away on here and just really make the most out of it. Tech still in first place. Darky, though, had that red zone, able to now move up into second here. Actually, not going to actually hit out. You take a look at the multi, you can. Both these players having no items in play. Darky, unfortunately, going to be drifting off there. Sometimes those things happen. Darky, being one of the best players in the U.S., still will occasionally make those mistakes there. And now falling into last place. Switching back to technical. You see him get into that double item up. He's going to drift off this ramp instead, which saves a lot more time than you would think. Isn't able to get a mini turbo in the process, though, and is going to bonk into the walls. And now, but is able to recover nicely. The great thing about Mr. Scooty, the vehicle that Technical is using, is that it does get a lot of mini turbos quickly. The disadvantages, it makes things difficult to come back. Because right now, he's telling the Technical get hit out by, by Jinja. Jinja now in first place, Tech in second. Looking back here, you see Darkin making their way back in the fourth. And Fever, one of the surprise Cinderella runs of this tournament so far, has made it in the third. Gonna go back over to Technical's POV to see what how Jinja approaches this. Ooh, the Blue Show comes out. Technical's able to just stop very nicely at the line but now here we are with a very different situation darky now taking the turn tightly gonna hit boomerang in the process puts a banana right now but now fever has fought his way in the first place here technical gonna outline in the process though now now there's triple greens in the pack you see the coin count very vital in this game jinjo with the horde being able to just shut down darky here and it's gonna translate to technical now having a run able to take in the double box as well as get two items here including a very strong one in that back pocket now we gotta see how he's gonna off the play. There's another item set right here, but a lot of boost bells. Bomb drops here. It does look like it's going to miss on him. And there is at least one red shell coming towards tech. And there's also a blue shell in play. You look over now at the mini map here, just seeing is technical gonna be able to survive at this point. Darky has great items. Tech is gonna barely make it out. Darky is gonna have a star. And I was gonna see if he's gonna be able to get anything higher than fourth. We'll have to settle for that spot. But it's still a very solid result. Looking now, Tech, two first places in a row. Has a slight lead going on. Jinja in second. Darky in third. d -Mercs. Actually, Jinja Darky tied for second so far. New York State has been rocking this top three. And the storyline between this event, between Broad Street Floor as a whole, ever since May, ever since the very first one, we have had New York win every single tournament. And the greatest thing here is the first three winners of Broad Street Floor are all in this room at the exact same time. Jinja winning Broad Street Blur in May. Technical winning it in June. Darky coming in in July winning. And the and fun thing is, none these players have never all played against each other at this land before. Darky and Jinja had the head-to-head -head last month, but 
Tech. This is the first time he's played against these two players here. Darby, first time playing against Tech. And now this is going to be really change up what we got. We have Blue Lake, a, a course with a very short, very strong, and very easy to run. But there's a lot of other capabilities you're going to be able to do here. Just being able to translate all of the ways you can move up into the top. Tech is going to start off in first place. Going to take this turn as tight as possible and get into that second item box from the right. Really strong alignment here. And the banana snipe on the technical. That was absolutely criminal. And that is insanity that's already kicked this off. Tech's going to stay in the back for a bit. Darky moving up into in a higher spot. You're not going to see players go for the itemless cut. And so you do see Jinja move for that shroom. Jinja in first, Anomaly in second, Darky in third, Anomaly with a quick trail in third place, in second place actually. Going to try and see what he's going to be able to do here in this situation, but oh, Darky getting hit out now. Going to see what Technical's going to be able to do here. There's fire in the pack, and Tech has already fought his way with 10 coins and into a mid-pack position with a very strong item in his pocket. Already looking at this right now, you see him not opting to change. It's actually kind of a smart idea. P Merc still in second place now, maybe moving on the way up. And you see Technical having to pop that star because of those triple greens from P Mercs. Jinja is on a bit of a breakaway at this point, though. And Jinja is trying to do, do something here. He has yet to really make his mark after that first Broad Street War. He didn't attend in June. And in July, he got a. I think he got third place. Slightly disappointing on his standard, but now he's in first with trailing that banana. No blue shell in play yet. No shock that we've seen either. Technical gonna be able to shroom up. Take on the first place, and he's going to try. Take this turn tight. Positioning over on the right side of this ramp. Trying to take this very closely and very nice. And Technical once again with another first place. Looking back here, you see Darky in fifth. Able to just hold on. Fever. Oh! Darky getting 6 in that spot. Instead, though, they're going to change up the standings. Tech, Jinja, p -Marks, Fever, MC in your top 5. Jinja is now ahead of Darky in standings. p -Marks right behind in 4th place. This is... This is close. <laughs> Only in that first GP still, and they've already seen incredible races from each of our players. Technical opting to go Rainbow Road 7. 3DS Rainbow Road. One of the courses which is very strong for him, and he's been really great on it. And now Darky is opting to go Baby Park while also using my Switch, and I don't know how to feel about this, if I'm being quite honest with you guys. A lot of interesting selections. We haven't seen some of these before yet, either. Rome's come up earlier. Koopa Game hasn't been picked yet. Riverside Park has not been picked yet, either, this time. Squeaky hasn't been picked. A lot of these are traditional courses you see here at Broad Street Floor and Philadelphia Armada. But now we're going to Wallow Vita Stadium. Ocean Rhapsody's pick. You see Ocean Ra Ocean popping off in the in her chair because she has gotten her track, and she's a specialist on this. She needs this track really well if she wants to have a great run now going in to end race four. The important thing is, well, let's take a look at the multi view. The first item set really tells the story of how this is going to go. Tech is going to try and either pull a defensive item or increase that coin count so he can take a bit of a run here. Darky not going to be able to do too much at this point either. All of these players are going to be able to take this upcoming dirt shortcut without a mushroom. This is one of the most notable no item shortcuts NISCs in the game at this point. And you see these players just really fighting up here. P-Mercs fighting his way into second place though and actually maybe fighting into first. P-Mercs tech Darky in the top three situation at this point. It's been incredibly tight. As we've been looking at this. Darky now in first place with a mushroom. Gonna see how long he's gonna be able to hold this here because Technical is falling a bit behind on his tail with P in second at this point. The shot comes out early, only on lap one. There's plenty of time for another shot. You know this you know the shot will only come. Cannot be pulled for another 30 seconds after the first one has been pulled. So we'll see what happens later down the race. But Darky, only on two points though, but is able to just outdrive the players in this pack. Really make the most of this. p in the second place with Tech right behind it. Dangerous with three triple greens. And that's going to trail off p -Mercs. There's nothing much that Tech that p is going to be able to do there. Anomaly fighting their way in a third place also here. Red Shell in play from Darky. Technical like going to stay alive from that fire. Matrix style movement at that point. Dodging all of that fire in this process. And now that blue shell coming over towards Darky. And that should be the end of his run. At least in first place for now. You know that 
Tech now has double defense in first place, which is very strong here. The only thing really capable of taking him out is a blue shell, shock, or maybe just sets a triple red. You see Tech frequently looking backwards to see his awareness, see what the situation behind him is like, and that's so important here, especially knowing on lap three, all the stuff that can potentially happen. Technical taking this half fight very nicely, able to now take that trick, able to trail out that one red shell. I wonder if he's going to cycle here. You see that Nana place very nicely. That he's going to be able to take double, but I think that Rachel hit that banana, and I think that might be enough for Tech to take another first place, and that's actually going to secure a perfect Grand Prix. First on all four, and Darky in second. I think that was P-Mercs in third, or Jinja. Going to have to see how this changed up. You know, P-Mercs got hit out early. Ish. Jinja in third. This top three has been dominant thus far. Riffy fighting his way into the tie for fourth, but the, well, some of the stories here... Fiebler in the top six spot is looking very dangerous. To maybe pull an upset here. Top three is hiring to run away. Eight races to go. You never know what's still potentially available at this point. And I think that's the most exciting thing. Taking a look at here, you see some tracks that we haven't really seen a lot today. Pyro Circuit, DK Summit, Madrid. DK Mountain. A lot of these tracks have not been options really at this point, but I think it could be exciting to see how this translates into the gameplay for the rest of this set. There's eight races left to go. Technical is looking very well as a strong lead, and Tech has been a dominant player in Pennsylvania, especially only losing, I think, one land. Yeah, Tech has only lost, I think, one tournament in Pennsylvania. As a New Yorker, it's funny. But he's won um, Cyberhound Cup. He's won Steel City Sprint. Won the first Avalanche. That third at the second Avalanche. And then won Broad Street for June. We are going to Baby Park. And the funny thing here is that Baby Park is now picked on my Switch. And I don't know how to feel. But Darky has my Switch and he picked it. So we'll see how this plays. The fun thing here is that because now there's 12 players, the item roulette is absolutely pivotal. You're going to see the difference in play style. Baby Park is, of course, where you actually do want to play from the back. You want to be able to pull those dodges, but Shock is incredibly powerful on here. You see Tech staying in like the mid-pack back, while Darky went all the way back, trying to pull some good items. Chaining your dodges is critical here, You, but how short Baby Park is, you want to set yourself up for a great position. Both these players having Triple Shroom Star, Double Shroom Star now, in like the middle pack here, 7, 8. Half, oh, not even halfway through this race, a lot of stuff is potentially on the board for things to happen here. Darky with another star. Tech is going to pull a ghost, which is a great defensive item as well here. Going to give like 10 seconds of invincibility, as well as provide an opportunity to steal an item from a person in front. Darky in fourth place now, still in a star in third place. Second now, potentially looking to run away here. Riffy still in first place, it looks like. But now we're approaching the final two laps. We're looking to be in the last lap. Darky now in... A great situation here. Could be able to just finish off the job and get a much needed first place at this point, and that's going to be it. Darky is going to be able to get a much needed first place here on Baby Park, and Tech is not going to get Blue Shell in line, and Tech gets second, and Jinja is very angry. Darky, Tech, Riffy, Jinja, P Marks. This top five has been insane, but Darky and Jinja have some work to do because Technical still in second place after that. No perfect Grand Prix. We're not going to see a 180, but incredible stuff so far. What a showcase we have seen from our players today here at Broad Street Floor. Let's take a look at what we're looking at track selection wise. You see Darky already locked in that pick. Wario Stadium, a track that's just dominant in first place. In their first round, was able to just get a huge breakaway and just destroy the competition on here. And I'm thinking that's potentially looking like what they need. They need a course where you can just run away in first. And there's a few options like that here. SNES Rainbow Road, Dragon Driftway, depending on how you feel. Um, Sherman Lane, but Madrid try isn't exactly that. Madrid very much favors the players in the middle spots. And I think that is going to be very something, very much something you want to keep in mind. The players in like 4, 5, 6. Going a mushroom early is great because there is an early mushroom cut that you can take. You can take it without one, but it's much faster to take it with a mushroom and also easier. You want to make your life much 
as easy as possible in this game when so much stuff is about to happen. You look at Darky able to just snake up in but gets passed by technical. Both these players very strong in their driving. You see a green not far behind Darky. Darky having a pop that and is going to get smart bounce where the green shell locked on because it hit a wall and then just decides oh, we're just gonna lock onto a target right in front of me. Darky now playing from the back it looks like trying to just get that coin up. On the other hand we know that Technical is in second. Jinja in first place. These players just trying to do what they can to fight it off. Jinja needs some extra points. He needs to also get rid of Technical because Technical, if he's just able to keep these top spots, there's nothing anyone's going to be able to do here, even with just a string of first places. Jinja with a close trail, and there's a boomerang coming in clutch. There's Anomaly getting hit out by a boomerang. You know, everyone's screaming in this venue as Tech now has one more shot of that boomerang in this narrow hallway. Tech is going to be able to outline, get double trick in this process. Green Shell not connecting on the Tech, and now Tech is still in first. Darky now in seventh, sixth, able to keep this competitive. You see Fever in fifth, Yemi in fourth, and there is a boomerang once again. And the bitty buggy lack of invincibility shows out in that moment as Darky getting comboed a little bit here, playing the wrong game. Looks like we're maybe playing some Guilty Gear here. Get it with that kind of combo is maybe some melty, some uni. And that's a rough shock situation as Darky gets hit in that cut as well as gets started having to back up for coins. But in during all this, Technical is still in first place. That's a red Yoshi in second. That could be Jinja Ninja. That could be P Mercs. Gotta have to see what's happening behind here. Tech holding on the Oh backing out and now two players are backing out. It is going to lock on the Jinja, but it also hits Technical in the process. Anomaly is going to be able to move up in the first place somehow. And while all of this is happening, Darky has moved up into sixth place. And you're watching as the, the absolute chaos of the final lap ensues. Darky in sixth. Tech in seventh getting hit out in the process. Has triple greens maybe to potentially make something happen here. Darky still has a chance to make something with fifth place. Not going to have an item. And a fire comes out. And it's going to ricochet. Hit on Dark to Darky. And the triple greens. So Tech are going to lag trail Darky. Te Technical is going to get fourth. Darky is going to get 11. What just happened? Ocean gets first place. Rick gets second. What happened? What just happened? I did something stupid and it derailed the whole race. Why did you put first? I apologize for everything that just happened, what you just witnessed, because but I had no idea what that was. Ocean Rhapsody's coming out of nowhere with the first rift coming in with the second. Wow. Wow. That might be one of the greatest moments we've ever seen here on stream. That's saying a lot. A lot of great moments have happened in the very short history of Broad Street Blur. But now you're seeing some different things. Some mix you aren't going to normally see, especially at this level. I'm looking is particularly at DP3, Donald Plain Street in New York Minute, but it looks like we're going to... Oh, SNES Rainbow Road. Another course, very dominant in those top spots. Really great for these moments. And I think this is going to be a situation where the players in top spots are going to be able to just run away here. Potentially, though. You saw some insanity happen earlier, so you never know. But... In finals, anything can happen. This will end the, I want to say, end the, or maybe be the start of the second half. I didn't get a chance to quick to look at after all that that happened. We see Darky now moving up into fifth. Tech is still in a high spot as well. You know, Jinja in first, Darky in second. The quick outline. Darky now going to move up in the first place with a mushroom. Very great resource to have. But now having a pop and just going into a double block. Secure some form of defense. Tech right behind. In fact, you look at this map. It is insane because now while Darky is in first, Technical is in sixth. These are some of your front runners here. Jinja also be in this top process, but now Darky still holding on to some great items, having at least a banana to protect himself. Because I think Jinja is right behind in that, right behind Darky. And now Darky has two forms of defense here, but there's a blue shell, a lot of bananas in play as well. I'm not sure, but oh, Jinja. Okay, Jinja doesn't get hit. Oh, but the fall dodge. Was a great idea here. Jinja now 
in first place, but Darky not losing many resources here, being able to stay ahead in the second place. There's a shot. One player dies. That would be P-Mercs, it looks like, in the red Yoshi. P-Mercs now fighting their way into third place. Has another mushroom. Jinja in first, maybe not for long. Now Darky in third. Gonna go for a snipe, not going to connect here. And now Darky's moving on into second place. Jinja now fighting off into three. P-Mercs starting to run away at this point. But Darky now gonna be able to secure that double box. Now has a mushroom as well as a red shell. Going to look to potentially chain it here. Yes, sir. As now Darky has a chance. Pops those mushrooms, pops that red shell. I don't think the red shell's going to connect in time, and it's going to lead to Peenbrook's getting a first place, Darky getting second, and Technical getting hit out on the line almost, falling over into what looks like a seventh place. Peenbrook's Darky, Jinja, MC, Rippy, Rummy, Tech, Ocean, Anomaly. Wow. But overall, Tech has an 18 point lead on Jinja and Darky, 20 points on Darky at least. We are seeing, we are witnessing some great stuff here today. Like, this gameplay has been insane. The, just the amount of, like, of the quality of, like, play from both these have been so fun to watch from both our POVs. But really, this room, if you take a quick look at the players again, it's a very stacked lobby for this reason. Tech, Darky, Jinja, three of the best players in our region all representing New York for that. So, here we are. Going to see what the next track is. I would be really excited to see Daisy Circuit or Dragon Drift play. There's two people picking Donut Plains 3, but I think they're actually going to eat a Koopa Cape. Yeah, Koopa Cape. Now, Ocean once again celebrating and dancing in her chair because she is able to play on another course that she likes. But now, time is starting to tick. Jinja in, in third, 67. Darky in second, 69. Attack at a rolling 87 here. And now five races to go. Still time, but it's not a lot. Let's see how these players respond. It looks like Team Rex is going to burn out, unfortunately, here. And as Technical moves up into fifth place, it looks like Darky is in first. You see Tech often to go for those coins. Very smart here, trying to build up that speed advantage over the course of time. Especially because Mr. Scooty has one of the lowest, has the lowest speed set, I think, in the game. Really prioritizing their mini turbo and drifting. Darky in first place, having a banana, it looks like. And Tech now in second. That's one red shell. Going to be at least take away their one form of defense here or not, as Darky still manages to hold on. As now, Tech chaining that red shell into those item boxes. Is able to pull a shroom as well as a red shell. Drifting off the ramp and then going into that waterfall. That's the strategy in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. Technical still in second. Darky in first. It looks like Jinja in third place. This top three from New York has been very dominant thus far in this grand finals. And I'm thinking that's going to be enough to at least secure them in top three. Now, it does look like the blue shell is on the map, and Darky does see it, but doesn't have anything to protect himself from it. It's going to lead to Technical going to in the first place, but that great shell connects, but Jinja with those super horn is going to be able to take out two players now. And now the fire coming in in this section, in this pipe from PMAX, is going to be able to maybe take at least one player out here. Rippy now moving on up in the third. Jinja, P Mercs, Rippy, Darky, and then Tech in fifth place. So that's your top five here so far at BSB Grand Finals as Darky now with that banana as well as a mushroom is gonna be able to at least make the most here. And Technical, unfortunately, not having a mushroom to take some of the more notable cuts here. Darky's banana gonna be taken out, but Technical only has bananas. The shroom cut. Immaculate, and now Darky has moved up in the first place, but there's a red shell. There's two red shells. He marks out in the first place. Jinja in second. Not maybe not for long here. There's a very close fight up in the end of this pipe section. The banana comes, and there's a shock. It looks like at least one player in the middle dodges, but I don't think it's going to be enough for them to get back into the top spots. Technical now with a triple greens launching it forward a bullet bill from Anomaly. If that's going to be able to do enough, that could be great. But I hear some noise. I got Darky getting green. No. Technical getting green third place and Darky. Oh, with the sixth. What have we just seen? That was. Oh my gosh. Heartbreaking for Darky. Jinja first. Team Rick second. Tech third. Rippy fourth. Wow. Wow. This.
a lot of stuff is happening with the quality of play in this room, but the items have been disgusting, for lack of a better term. Darky with some frustration as well. You see him going deep in three, going up in three, but up, up in his reset. Like, cool. With that wall, we should pinball. Of course, but he knows he's much better at than other players. We are going on to start off the last GP and kicking it off with Paris Promenade. Shout out to um some players that I know personally. We've got to support Jag from my own team. Aiden also likes this track, as well as uh, one of our regulars at Brush of Blur, AMS Sunset Slot, who sadly couldn't make it out to this one. We will be at Riptide as well as a few other Brush of Blurs coming forward. Getting a chance here. So the way Paris Promenade works is that it's a course that traditionally favors top spots as well as players on the Yoshi bike, Comet, Master Cycle, and, and whatnot. Those are considered inward drifting bikes, which drift a bit different from the normal vehicles here, like the outwards, that you see the bunch of the teddy buggies, the Mr. Scooty, the Biddy as well. In fact, top three is all rocking a different combo, which is actually really cool to see. The red shell, oh, that bomb, and wow, a lot of stuff has happened. Tech, we're going to focus on Technical here, who's in fourth place. Rippy in third with those greens, as Darky is in second as well, and Jinja in first place, still holding on to these tops. Top spots on Paris are really hard to break out, but there is some very notable hot spots here, where Bullet is really strong, or Shock is really strong. And you'll see those potentially happen in lap 3. Tactical kind of move this way up into the third place. As well as you see Darky taking the fast path. I think Darky probably has moved on into first place. And it looks like he has. Having that red shell trailing. We'll have to in second. There's, oh, what it looks like a disgusting green from Tactical. As Tech is going to move up into second place here. Darky is in a comfortable year now, but oh no, right as we say that, commentator curse potentially, as a blue shell once again comes after Darky, and I think that's going to be enough for a tech pull to move on into second place here on this last section, and this is close, there's a red shell, and it's going to connect on to Darky, unfortunately, which is going to leave technical with a great chance for a breakaway there, Darky is still in second though, and we haven't seen a shot yet, I think, so here, this last item set, this is where things can happen, change. Oh, a blue shell. The question is, will Tech be able to run it out in time? It's coming right down to the wire. Blue shell on the line. Is Tech going to be able to hold on? Tech has the fire. Darky able to get second place here, but Tech holding on strong with this lead is probably going to be able to make this comfortable. As Jinjin falling into fifth, P Mark's fourth, MC third. You look at the standings, though. Second place is really close, but Tech. Technical, the world record holder, the, one of the best geometry tree dash players I've ever seen. The captain of Pittsburgh University's Mario Kart team. When one of the best 200 CC players in the world is holding on strong. But if Darky or Ginger are going to make something happen, they got to make it soon because there's a lot left. While there's three races, stuff can still happen. Tech has been very consistent, has not dropped a lot of races, like in the lower spots. But anything can happen, especially as we go into Rome of Vonsi, a track known for being good for those middle spots. And because of all the opportunities to mushroom up, you see that Tech has a 22 point lead on second place. Depending on how these next few races go, this might be it. Magic number 14 to tie, which would be first place from second and then tech getting last. So, possible, but time is starting to run out. Darky now, right behind tech as you approach his first item set here. We're gonna see what he pulls. Pulls a green shell. Tech pulls a mushroom? Tech is gonna get greened out by Darky, but tech is, has a mushroom and is gonna be able to potentially recover. Darky now with a coin, pops it to get his coin count up. And now has that banana, ooh, opting to position himself nicely for this nice, for this turn. Able to get another mini turbo here. 
and you're able to just keep building this point count up, and while players might be able to pass him with the mushroom cut at that section, Darky is still holding on strong, and now in first place should be good. But you look over onto who is in second place, and that would be technical. Once again, just holding on strong, and if technical just keeps getting these safe races, he is going to be in a position to just win and stop right on this next race. But triple greens, he just has to play it safe. But he doesn't need to play aggressive here. In free for all, you really see defense matter. You want to save as many points as possible. You because really that's all you're making sure you gotta do. Just playing well to survive. And that back shell back green could have been bad, but there's a blue shell coming for Darky once again, and that's gonna connect. I don't think he had any items up there as tech. Once again, in first place, Darky in third, Jinja moving up in the second, Rippy right there in the process. Ah, oh, Darky with a back once again. There's, that's been a rough theme this entire set, entire finals. Tech still holding on strong in first place. Going to be able to see what he's going to be able to do here. Doesn't Oh, it does off the bat. Just so he has his defense in pocket and is able to get a banana here. No defense from the rest out, at least at this point, though. Going to see how their ending shapes up. Tech gonna go into that double item box. A blood blue shell coming in. I don't think that's gonna be in time though. Technical should be able to take that nice item with shortcut and beat out that blue shell. Darky though, able to move up into fifth place. And I think Ginger got second. Ricky maybe third or P Mercs. Yeah, Ricky with the Ricky is playing amazing today. So love to see that. But 25 points. Tech is on the as at this point doesn't need anything drastic he wins outright just with a solid race i want to say it's like fifth place and guarantees it maybe not even actually it might be like a ninth or like an eighth a seventh eighth or ninth place the technical he gets here and wins outright we are seeing some interesting options being brought out here and i think i just put it's a battle for second ginger in two right now. Darky in three. Darky beat out Jinjo last time. You never know what could be happening here. Looking at these last couple places, anything is a normal. So, and especially if you're in the middle, there, that's going to be a very fun thing to watch. See who moves on here at this point. As we are going to Rainbow Road 7, one of Technical's most dominant courses here. So we're going to take a watch at what could end up just being a time trial. Now, on 127, it's 25 points of leeway. It's going to take a lot. Almost a miracle for Jinja or Darky to make it up and top into first. But really, a lot of top three is kind of set. Keymerch and Rippy kind of in a great spot as well, but we will see what happens now. Tech in first place, holding on, has pops that coin. Be able to just get that coin count up. Ginger not opting to throw a red, just trying to keep himself safe in this moment. Tech's gonna be able to get into that double item box as well. Now has a banana in the primary slot as a coin in the back pocket. And just some great driving from Technical. You see him opt for the super bounce here, drifting off that boost panel and then releasing that mini turbo right before tricking off of that mushroom pound pad. Giving that an extra boost there, and Snack is really in a strong position. He won't back now. Darky with an aggressive fire play, not going to be able to get anything in the process though, and is still stuck in fifth place. Rippy in fourth, and it does look like actually a bit of change in standings. It looks like maybe P Mercs or Jinja in second, and I think that's Ocean, the green Yoshi, in third place. It's, oh, there's a shot. I think I saw a bill in the back potentially dodge, but none of the top front runners here were able to do so. And shot here? Tackle's still in a great spot. He's able to keep the items up as I normally use doing something in his share. I'm not sure why. Tech has a bomb in first place. If he's going to be able to keep this up, he should be in a great spot. Trailing that bomb, I guess anyone decides to play aggressive here. And in this section, that bomb could be devastating. Isn't going to drop it just yet. Gotta watch how the ending looks for both of our POVs here. Darky in fifth place, gonna try and stay alive, but not really having much here. Gonna opt to go down a little bit here, as I think Ginger or P-Marks is in second, and Tech still running away. 
And that's going to be it. Because before the final race even happens, Techco is going to be your Broad Street Floor 4 champion here at Go for Broke August at Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Congratulations to Technical for not only winning, but being the first VP winner of Broad Street Blur. The stop really making the most of that dominance in Pennsylvania. But whoa, in the metal race, we have something different. Teamworks, very close. Only three points away from Darkie from stealing that bronze medal. So it could be anyone's race here for that last spot. So main thing, Darkie and P Mercs, as well as Jinjo. Second, third, fourth was really close. But Technical has won outright. Very deserved win, and that's a great congratulations to them once again. I'm... And now we are going to the last race and seeing who is going to be securing the final medals positions now. I go for bro, Frosty Blur. I got a chance to also watch some Guilty Gear in the background. I'm so happy. They're in Losers Finals right now. That's exciting. I'm a fellow watching Guilty Gear. Shout out to the MGC. I'm really happy. Thank you to Gopher Bro for partnering with us here at Broad Street Blur for giving us a chance to really connect with more of the bigger community here. It's been fun watching how all of this is going in. And now we're going to be here at Big Blue, a very volatile track because of the cannon set. The cannon creates so much distance between the players, and the thing about items in this game is that distance plays a lot of influence here. We're gonna see Darky positioning nicely, drifting off, and Tech, Jinja, Darky, your top three of the tournament, is still top three overall at this point. Jinja getting red shell out in the process now as Darky moving on up into second place, right behind Technical, has another red shell. Oh, ops the back it. And Tech now with that green shell out in the trail just to keep himself safe. As Darky now doesn't need to do anything too crazy. I don't think Tech's gonna start looking for a back either. As now this double is going to be. You see these players just take these cuts, and that's like absolutely incredible. So the fun thing is about the player, there's a bit of a crowd watching Technical right now. Technical, if they don't know, he is a world record holder, multiple world record holder in this game, both in 200cc and 150cc. He's considered to be one of the best 200cc players in the world. And so that's why he is here. So it's like you see this right now. I just talking to a bit of the crowd. I wanted to get this up. But now, Tech in first place. So Darky in second. There's the shot coming right as expected on lap three. You see, Darky's going to be able to take that double now. Going to see how he's going to be able to position himself into this point. But it looks like Technical should be in for a comfortable finish here because there is at least the one red shell. I don't think. He's going to have anything else here. Darky's going to shroom up, potentially trying to take something here, but Technical is going to once again get first place and a well-deserved win here. And Jinja is on fire. What happened? Jinja gets third. So that's going to secure our top three. It's going to be Technical, Jinja, Darky. Once again, New York's top three. And to give a round of applause for our medalists here. We have Technical, Jinja, and Darky, top three overall. And the craziest thing is, this like, being this being the Pennsylvania land, New York has once again destroyed our medalist. As and the streak has continued, New York has won every single Philadelphia Mario Kart tournament. And congratulations to Technical for being the first ever repeat winner here at Broad Street Blur. Go for bro. Gonna give a chance to move on over. Oh, you two have mics here. And it's like, oh my gosh, what a match. We're going to be going into the trophy presentation soon. But hey, it's been an absolute pleasure. Stay tuned for this and like, right, because we got great moments here. Teamer is going to be taken away. Give me the trophy seat. Guys, remember, shout outs to um, Teamer's friend Mason for making these trophies. Great book. And we're going to do for the medals. I will give that. And we did get our top three. And funny enough, our top three are all previous Broad Street Blur champions, all three of our previous champions. So, coming in third place, we have Darky. Congratulations. Broad Street Blur champion number three.
Coming in second place and with the most podiums at Rod Streamler so far. And now getting every single placement on the top three. Uh, we have Cynthia. <laughs> and finally, with a dominating performance and our first dual Broad Street Blur champion. Give it up for technical. For <laughs> and yeah, so that's it with the tournament, but we do have the area for the rest of the day while the other tournaments are going out. So if you want to play free for all cards, go for it. If people want to do uh, mini brackets like battle mode or something, that would be sick. All right. Thank you, everybody. Remember, we have snacks here. I'll get top three to get payout in a little bit. Yes. Yes, yes. Charles. Uh, thank you, Spice. Oh, oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> thank you, bro. Hey, Tech, winner's interview? Yeah. Let's get Tech on for a winner's interview real quick. Hop on the mic. Here you go. Get the, the real episode. Yeah, I'll be on. Stuff and everything. So it's just like there. That's okay. So, gotta ask, how's it feel winning this one? It's so nice. I didn't expect to do as well as that, but, um, in all honesty, I know Dorothy got really, really unlucky, which oh, was, honestly paved the way for me yeah. to do as well as I did. So some things went my way, and it was a lot of fun. Hey, glad you glad you had fun. Talk to me about how that finals went. Like, no, coming in, yeah. knowing that every Broad Street Warrior winner was here, and, like, this is one of the most stacked events that we've had in a long time. Yeah. Just being able to have, like, all the previous winners here, like, how did it feel like getting like playing that well? You had a perfect GP, I think, for the I first did. one. And that was insane to watch. Like, what was your thought process like this entire finals? I I mean, it may not have seemed like it, but like it was really close. Every race was actually really, really close. And it, there was so much that could have gone wrong for me. And a lot of it just kind of didn't happen. And, it, you know, some of those races, you know, it was right down to the wire. And I was just I, really, really, really locked in just to make sure I actually won as many as I could. And it feels great, honestly. Great to hear that. Now, last question then, going to keep this short. How's it feel being the first ever repeat winner? We've had three, all three winners came. You're the only one here to repeat. And now your track record of tournaments, especially in Pennsylvania, I think you've won all but like one. Yeah. So which is insane. Yeah. How's it feel right now? It feels pretty good because, you know, I'm going to be coming back a lot. And it, it honestly, it's starting to feel a little bit more like home in Pennsylvania because, mm. you know, I've been living here for three years now for school. And, if, you know, being able to come here and consistently perform well, you know, whether it's here, whether it's, you know, in Kutztown, Moravian, all that, feels pretty good knowing I can hold my own pretty much every tournament. That's great. And actually, one more question. Riptide's coming up yeah. next month. One of the biggest, it's going to be one of the biggest tournaments we have in Mario Kart. How are you feeling going into that? There's a lot of great talent there. Do you have some momentum now with yeah. this? But, like... How's it feel going into like one of the biggest tournaments of the year now? I am. I'm so pumped. I'm so so excited, and I really expect it to be like a big stacked event. So I'm oh, gonna yeah. come prepared. Yeah, 96 players. They capped out. There's a waiting list and everything now too. I've heard so much. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited for that. I'll be there watching, helping to run the event. So it's gonna be right. it's gonna be fun seeing there. But hey, congrats, man. Yeah, winning this you. one. Hope to see you soon. I'll see you next month in Red Tide. We'll see you here. Yeah, monthly now. So congratulations again. Have a good one, man. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Top three is going to be... You know what? Let's get someone fun on here. Oh, shit! It's also awesome if you get on for a mic. But I... If not, I think we'll just end straight at this point. Now it's fun. <laughs> Insanity stuff here, but hey, that's I think that's actually gonna wrap it up here for us. Let's see where go for broke. So, first of all, gonna give a quick thank you to the people at local host for not only running a great event and having a beautiful venue, but also people at go for broke for helping us out here, bringing some more people in to help play some Mario Kart, which is really fun and really cool games to connect with the greater Philadelphia scene. I love watching fighting games myself, so this has been fun. I get to watch Guilty Gear. I get this on the big screen and on the side. Tekken's about to start. Street Fighter's about to start, too, I think. Undernight as well. I'm excited to see some fighting game action, but stay tuned for what we got coming. Next month, we got an event, great event here. 
more Broad Street Blur. I think it's on, don't quote me on this, but I think it's the 14th, September 14th, the weekend after Riptide, quarter to 21st, one of those. And then we have Riptide, the great event in Central School High, one of the biggest majors. I think we're going to be in for a great event. This is a great time to be in for competitive Mario Kart. Make sure you follow all the socials down below. Check out USMK Racing. There's a Discord plug there. If you want to get engaged with your local scenes, please do so. That's the best way to get that grow the community, support your locals. We talk about it all the time in the FTC and in the esports world, but that's how it is. Support your locals. I hope to see you around next time for some more Bright Street Blur. Have a good one, guys.